Hello everyone, in this video we will showcase the Kubernetes auto join feature that has been released as part of console 1.2.3. This feature enables nodes running inside and outside of Kubernetes to join a console cluster running on Kubernetes. Rather than joining with a static IP address or DNS entry, the auto join feature uses the Kubernetes API to discover pods running the console agents and joins those pods. So let's take a look how that works. Here I have a console cluster that's running on Kubernetes using the console Helm chart. We can also verify this by using the console UI and listing all our nodes. Here we have three server nodes that make up the console cluster. Let's use the auto join feature to join a VM that's running outside the Kubernetes cluster. Here I have a VM that's running outside the console cluster. I've already downloaded the latest version of console, which is console version 1.2.3 on this VM. First, let's start the console agent without using the auto join feature in console. Here, I'm providing a few flags to console like the data directory and also setting a log level to debug so we can get more information. Let's start the agent. As soon as we start the agent, we see that this agent isn't able to find any console servers in the given data center. Now we can provide that list using IP addresses, but the IP addresses can change over time. Since our console cluster is running on Kubernetes, which is a dynamic scheduling environment, there is a possibility of the server IPs changing over time. So let's stop this agent. Next, let's use the auto join feature in console to discover the console agents running in Kubernetes. Here, I'm providing a flag called retry join that lets us use a variety of providers to help us discover console agents in the environment. It uses labels to discover the pods that are running the console agents. Here, I'm gonna provide the labels that are attached to the console server pods in Kubernetes. I'm gonna use app equals console and component equals server. Let's start this agent. Immediately when we start the agent, we see we're using the new Kubernetes provider to discover all three console servers that are running in Kubernetes. Let's validate this using the console UI. Here we can see we've successfully joined an agent running outside the Kubernetes cluster. This is how easy it is to use the auto join feature in console to join nodes that are running outside the Kubernetes cluster. Thank you.